It's overgrown with grass, but these searchers believe they found evidence of an old spring-fed well lined with wood, which they hope may hold the answer to where 16-year-old Kevin Charles and 67-year-old Mary Goodfellow ended up. They were last seen in Chittick Lake on April 3rd, 1993. RCMP reported there was a loud argument that night at Goodfellow's home, and two people had confronted Charles about stealing. The boy ran to nearby homes for help, but no one did. Neither he or his 67-year-old adoptive grandmother were seen again, and the case went cold. Yeah. That's old wood. Probably have to get some professionals like... Searcher Ernest Dumais says it bothered him. You know, you hear stories about stuff getting, you know, swept under the rug. And it's, there's a lot of people missing. 13 years later, in 2006, acting on a tip, RCMP showed up to ask Roger Barassa and his father-in-law where the well was. They asked him about this well site. And he said, yeah, but it hasn't been used for 20 years. So we showed him the site, and those two RCMP officers taped it off. And they told him that we'll be back within two weeks. But the following week, the two RCMP officers in spirit got shot, and nothing's been done about it since. And one of those RCMP officers that taped it off was one of the officers that was involved in shooting in spirit. It was a tragedy that caught the nation's attention. RCMP Constable Mark Bordage was one of two officers killed in a 2006 shootout. After that shooting, their files were sent to the RCMP's Historical Crimes Department in Regina. APTN asked the RCMP about those files, and in an email statement, RCMP said they are reviewing them and continue to investigate the case. This includes reviewing the information collected during the 29 years since their disappearance, speaking with witnesses and investigating new pieces of information as they're learned. Investigators recently received some new information they're currently following up on. That new information came from Ernie Dumais, who heard the tale of the RCMP visiting the well site from his co-worker Roger Barassa years before and was haunted by it. Turns out, Dumais' mother was a first cousin of Mary Goodfellow's. I see that picture on child find, so I went there, I phoned the number, and they, nothing really happened. Nobody got back to me. And then they said, maybe phone the RCMP in Regina. So I phoned there, and nothing really happened there, too. Like, they seemed like everywhere I was phoning, nothing was going on, you know. And... and like, to me, it's not the first time things like this happen where they know it's a First Nations person and it's nothing really happened. Bill, somebody made a platform. There's that tape right there on that tree. Oh, yeah. Wow. Right yeah, that's what I mean. That's police tape. Good job. Dumais and other searchers also located a piece of faded yellow police tape near the well, giving some weight to Barassa's story. The searchers hope RCMP will investigate the site soon. Elder Howard Halkett is Kevin Charles' cousin. He laid down tobacco at the well and said a prayer. He says the family has never forgotten. There's always the hope that we could find him alive and bring him home right and reunite with family but uh, if he's in the spirit world we'd like to bring him home also and and have a proper burial for him right and not only him but for the old lady also the rcmp has not announced a date when it will travel to the site to investigate but they told aptn they hope our story will generate new leads in the case. Now we need somebody to come in and dig it out. Leanne Sanders, APTN National News, Saskatoon.